Kirby Smart spoke at the Making Touchdown Club a few days ago, and I wrote about that earlier this week. And just want to say stock up on Kirby Smart's personability when it comes to just talking about high school football in the state. Obviously, all of us, even Palmer as a Tennessee guy, understand that uh, high school football in the state of Georgia is pretty special, pretty unique, and pretty good. And there's uh, a, a lot in it for Kirby Smart to petition to a room full of coaches and high school football players from the state uh, and talk about how awesome they are and how much they matter to the sport. But uh, when I listened to Kirby talk at that event, you know, I heard a pretty genuine dude who legitimately appreciates how important the institution of high school football was for him um, in the state and in general too. But it's not just about five stars and four stars for Kirby. He, he knows that uh, this is a special thing and a lot of relationships come out of it. A lot of good football players, but just a lot of good people too. So stock up on Kirby Smart and in a, in a time of his life where he's just laser focused on national championship after national championship, uh, it was pretty cool to hear him just appeal to a bunch of just normal high school football people in the making touchdown club. And I'm sure he's doing it to all the touchdown club and quarterback club stops that he makes, but the making touchdown club has the best pork chops in the state. So stock up on Kirby smart and the making touchdown club. I feel like you just called Palmer Tennessee man to some degree, by the way. Yeah. Palmer is Tennessee man. (laughs) We should do a show from the making touchdown club. We should, we should rotate from all of the, from like Columbus, Macon, Savannah, we yep. get free meals out of it if nothing else. <laughs> oh man, Palmer, Palmer's big on a free meal, dude. <laughs> yes, yeah, he's still got that college mentality going with the free meal thing. Yeah, I'll I'll, I'll cover a Georgia basketball game, Georgia baseball game for for a free meal. And, oh yeah, uh, that Papa John. And, and on that note, uh, I'm gonna go stock up on Mike White. Um, he was at the uh, Elite Eight game this weekend, uh, Sweet 16 up in New York uh, there, that, that East Regional. Uh, and he had a lot of ties to that regional. Um, Coach, his, his brother, uh, Danny, is the athletic director at Tennessee. Volunteers lost to FAU, uh, whose athletic director is also Mike's brother, um, forgetting his name. Uh, but his brother is the is the F- FAU athletic director. Uh, then in the Elite Eight game, you had FAU who had just his name's Bob. 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 That's not true. <laughs> <laughs> he married a lady. He married a lady with the last night with the last name Quail, and he, then they hyphenated. So Brian. His name's Brian. Quail man. Anyway, Bob White Quail. So. Um, <laughs> Ryan White. Then, then the in the Elite Eight, you had FAU uh, again with his brother Brian uh, as the uh, AD. Uh, Dusty May, who's the head coach at FAU, uh, was somebody that Mike had coached with for a while. Co- playing up against Kansas State, who had um, Keontae Johnson, who played for Mike at Florida for a while before transferring, um, using his last couple of years of eligibility there. That's a great story. FAU's a great story. Uh, hopefully, Mike is getting Georgia to that kind of a stage here. Uh, that's certainly what fans are hoping for. So, uh, you know, I, I know the uh, Elite Eight and Sweet 16 feels pretty far away, uh, but it's pretty close to home for Mike White. Good stuff. Yeah, I mean, look, all these other SEC basketball programs puffing their chests out for most of the season – and, you know, they can't even make it to the Final Four. So, what no. do they have to brag about? Not well, much more than Georgia. Look, FAU and San Diego State, first in school history for the Final Four. Miami, like, too. I mean, yeah, catch, catch lightning in the bottle, man. There's really only one thing to say about it, and that's come to the FAU. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Come to the FAU. No, uh, I, I hope they get it on track. I, yeah, I was honestly going to do a stock up on – on Georgia basketball expectations tonight, but Palmer stole my thunder. So now I got to recalibrate. Really, what do you got? 
Okay, well, I got two. I got two stock ups. Uh, stock up on the cornerback position I talked about earlier. Um, really blown away. But you know, whenever you think about it, it's not a it's not a Georgia show unless we step on our feature like earlier in the show. So I stepped on it already. <laughs> um, you know, again, listen to the names: Dalen Everett, uh, Nylon Green, Julian Humphrey, Smoke Bowie, AJ Harris, Chris Peel, Kyron Jones, uh, and uh, yeah. The, the, one of the nine Harris's Georgia signed in this past <laughs> class. I mean, so many cornerbacks, so many talented cornerbacks, so many people in the fold. Also, stock up on furry mammals. We got Jake Roos here on the show tonight. Um, that's one furry mammal right there. Uh, we, we took my took my family to Memorial Park this weekend for zoo for zoo day. Saw bears, saw otters, yeah. and then I went to church this morning, and a squirrel got loose. Ray Stevens style. You can look it up on YouTube. Jefferson Church. The squirrel went to church. It's on video. Uh, yes, it is on video. I don't know. Are if you, you in the video? Are squirrel? you in the video? Probably not. Did you trap uh, it. Uh, no, I did help? not trap it. Somebody, somebody did catch it. Apparently, um, so the the pastor of the church is Nick Dalton, who's a former Georgia walk on quarterback. Yeah. back in the day, and uh, he is the senior pastor of the church, and he uh, he really cracked me up when he said that. Um, that uh, the start, one of the starting safeties for the Jefferson football team jumped up onto a chair to avoid the, the squirrel. I, I really couldn't see a whole lot of what was going on personally, um, but all I could think about was uh, Pascagoula, Mississippi, and Ray Stevens. Jake Rowe, classic back pew Baptist. Yeah, back, 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 back pew non-denomination. <laughs> when's the meet? Out to the parking lot. Yeah, yeah, when's the eat meet? <laughs> when is the eat meet? Checking, checking the watch at 12, 12 p.m. And, uh, when's the meal? <laughs> My blood sugar, baby. Get it up. Yeah. I got the rice coming up. Um, <laughs> no communion today. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Only one red back hymnal left when this thing's over. <laughs> okay. We're not singing the fourth verse today. Um, all right. Uh, I'm going to do um, stock up. I'm going to do stock continuing to be up on Georgia recruiting because – Georgia's still in the number one spot in the class of 2024. Stacey Searles, like I said, out the gate with his first commitment. I, like I said, three stars aren't going to raise the hair on the back of a lot of people's necks. But in a class where it's down nationally, you have to get guys like this. And you have to take guys who are um, who, who epitomize it and who show the traits that you're looking for. I think Malachi Tolliver is a guy who meets those criteria for Georgia. You keep him out of the hands of uh, Auburn, you keep him out of the hands of South Carolina. Um, and regardless, Georgia is still, I mean, like I said, sitting number one, two five stars now in the uh, industry ranking. Things are going really well on the recruiting trail, and it's just really kind of kicking off. G Day coming up and lurking soon, and it's going to be probably a, a ridiculous day. They've got two really impactful official visits in Justin Scott. And Aaron Butler set for that day. I know uh, Jake Rowe, very familiar with the Aaron Butler situation. Oh, yeah. Um, those are going to be two big, big visits for them. Um, you know, summer's not here yet, but Georgia has a number of dudes already on this list. I think that it's all trending in the right direction. So I'm going to say stock continues to be up on Georgia. Mm. Georgia 3 is kind of like a New York 9. It's kind of like uh... – like a like an Auburn five stars, like a Georgia yeah. three star. 